Good evening, Africa. Good evening, African Confessions. I am back with another episode. So a day before yesterday, I spoke with this certain gentleman as he was confessing. We had a WhatsApp call conversation and he asked me to record the call so that I can type down everything that he was telling me on the WhatsApp call. So this is the translation of that WhatsApp call conversation that I had with him. The conversation was like this. How are you, Brother Nashi? Please post for me and please hide my identity. Brother Nashi, today let me just tell you my story in brief. There are rituals that I took part in. And those rituals that I did, they are the ones that have given me wealth. Number one, I have an evil spirit which I was given by my father. So this evil spirit, it is not an ordinary evil spirit, but to me, it comes in form of a spiritual husband. When this evil spirit possesses me at night, I transform and I become a spiritual husband. Then I will have the ability to visit any woman that I want. I can visit that woman at night and she'll open up the door for me so that I can have intercourse with her. This spirit was given unto me by my father. Number two, I have a tokoloshi, but this one, it is a female tokoloshi and this tokoloshi is the one that gives me the money and the wealth that I have. I was given this tokoloshi by my uncle just before he passed away. Number three, I have another clay pot, but this clay pot, it was given unto me by one of my in-laws from my wife's side. In this clay pot, there are spirits of the dead. Brother Nashi, I'll start talking about the evil spirit that my father gave unto me, the one that when it possesses me, I transform and I become a spiritual husband. Me and this evil spirit, we have become one. This evil spirit, it resides in my blood. How did this happen? So I grew up in the village. As I was growing up, my father used to take me and we'll go to the forest together. What my father used to do once we were in the forest, he would go around picking up leaves from the tree and also collecting roots from different plants and he would make a herbal mixture and he would give me that herbal mixture for me to drink. I used to drink this herbal mixture whilst I was with my father in the forest. I can't really say the name of the herb or the tree that was used most often by my father because I am afraid that if I mention the name of that tree, people that come from the same country that I come from, they can recognize that tree and the danger is that This tree, it is used a lot for witchcraft and anyone can go to that tree and anyone can cast a bad spell on anyone. You know, those spells that can cause bad luck on another person, that tree is used for that by witches. That is why I don't want to mention the name of that tree. My father then started doing some rituals on me because what he used to do is that you would buy a razor blade, then you would make some markings on my butt, then you would rub some herbs from that tree on my butt and on my waist. The reason why my father did this ritual by putting marks on my butt and waist area using a razor blade. It was done so that me and that evil spirit called Kondwa Waturuka forever can have a connection and at night when that spirit called Kondwa Waturuka comes to possess me, it can connect with my body so easy. Like I told you that this spirit, it is there for you to have sex magic with anyone that you want. Any woman of your dreams, you can have sex magic with that woman. Then when I had completed all of the rituals, my father then said to me, son, I now want you to think of any girl that you love, any girl that you like. Just think about her before you go to bed and you will see what is going to happen. At that time, there was no girl that I loved in school or in the village where I used to stay. But in school, we had this certain student teacher. She was just a temporary teacher. 
who used to teach us history. She looked so beautiful and presentable, and I liked her very much. This teacher, she didn't know that I was a secret admirer. She was pregnant at that time, so she was the only one that I thought of. Many times before I would go to bed, I would fantasize making love to that teacher, but she was way older than me. This happened whilst I was about to complete my grade 9. When the evening came, I went to my room that I used to sleep in whilst I was in the villages. As I was lying on my bed, I started fantasizing about that temporary teacher from school. As I was fantasizing about that teacher, I just fell asleep and I did as my father had told me that I had to think of the woman that I loved the most. As soon as I had fallen asleep, then I woke up. But this time, when I woke up, I was not in my physical body. I was in my spiritual body. I looked around, and within minutes after I had woken up, I was no longer in my room, but I was standing at my teacher's house. I was standing by her front door, and I was knocking at the front door, calling out her name. Then she came and she opened the front door for me. Then she gave me the sign to enter into her house and I entered into her house. But when I looked at her, I saw that my teacher, she was fast asleep. Her eyes were closed and it surprised me how she had walked from her bedroom to the kitchen whilst she was sleeping like that. Then after she had locked the door, she gave me the sign to follow her to her bedroom. I followed her. Once we got inside her bedroom, I started having sexual intercourse with her. Or let me say, I was having sex magic with her. You can ask me, how is it possible? So what happened is that this teacher, she was having a dream and maybe she was dreaming of her husband. That is why she walked to the front door and she was thinking that she was opening up for her husband. And all this while, she was thinking that she was making love to her husband. But to me, everything was happening in reality. I was actually having sexual intercourse with her and I was controlling her body. The mistake that I did is that I involved this woman into the ritual that I was doing at that time, like having sex magic with her while she was pregnant. So it affected the baby that she was carrying because the following day when she came to school, she was busy with us in class. Then she started to have a miscarriage. Since I was possessed, that spirit came to me and I kept on having sexual intercourse with her. Because I was under the possession of that spirit, when that teacher was busy having a miscarriage, I was also busy having sexual intercourse with her. Maybe it was because of the blood that was coming out of her. You know, when a woman is having a miscarriage, there is a lot of blood that comes out of her. Maybe I was enjoying that. Then after that, I started sleeping with a lot of girls. I was having sex magic with a lot of girls that were in the village. Sometimes I would meet a woman in the taxi. If I last after that woman, I would know that at night I am going to visit that woman so that I can perform this sex magic on her. But the problem is that I forgot one rule that my father told me. I broke the oath of this ritual and it was the most important rule of this ritual. This rule, it was meant to cleanse your spirit because having sexual intercourse with a lot of women while you were in your spiritual body, it will make your spirit unclean. So you had to perform this important ritual once a year. What I had to do was that I had to go and sleep on top of a grave. Once a year, a date will be given unto me in the spirit. Then I had to plan and find a grave so that I can sleep on top of that grave throughout the night and I had to do it only when it is raining so that my spirit can be cleansed with the rain as the rain will be falling from the heavens the rain water that will soak me up as it sinks into the grave that is how my spirit will be cleansed 
then in the morning the ritual will be done when the sun is rising up. So I grew up and I became a man. I had a family and each and every year I made sure that when a date will be given unto me in the spirit, I would find a grave so that I can sleep on top of that grave throughout the night. Then there was this other year, a date was given unto me like all the other years before. When the time came for me to go to sleep on top of the grave that I had chosen, I couldn't go there because one of my child received a spiritual attack. He was beaten up by tokoloshis. I don't know who had sent those tokoloshis. That is why I couldn't go and sleep on top of that grave because I had to be with my child and that was the mistake that I made. It was something that was beyond my control but this innocent mistake that I made has caused a lot of troubles in my life because this evil spirit called Gondwa Waturuka, it now doesn't allow me to sleep with anyone that I want. It only wants me to have sex magic with women that are related to me. This spirit, it does what it wants now. It doesn't want to be controlled by me anymore. What this spirit used to do in the past is that whenever I wanted to sleep with a certain woman that I would have lasted after, let's say I will be walking in town, then I look at a woman, then I last after her. At night, I would make sure that I visit that woman. But now the problem is that this spirit doesn't allow me to do that anymore. If I try to go to that woman's place thinking that I am going to have sex magic with her, I would only wake up either in my sister's bedroom and she will be sleeping and I will be forced to have sexual intercourse with her. The most painful part is that I perform this ritual on my sister while she will be sleeping right next to her husband or to her boyfriend. And I do this to all of my sisters and all the women that I am related to. I have tried to stop myself from doing this, but I can't anymore because this spirit called Kondwa Waturuka, it is in my blood. I am connected by blood to this spirit. Then the second thing is that Tokoloshi, that Tokoloshi has too much power, Brother Nashi, because whenever I try to reason with that Tokoloshi, so many times I have tried to ask it, where do you come from? How did my uncle get hold of you? But that Tokoloshi is so powerful. This Tokoloshi, it doesn't want to say where it comes from. My uncle, the one who gave me this Tokoloshi, he didn't give me this Tokoloshi while he was still alive. But he came to me in my dreams. He visited me in my dreams soon after he had passed away after his burial that is when i had a dream but still in that dream he didn't tell me where this spirit comes from he showed me all of our forefathers who have been using this same tokoloshi since this tokoloshi is just the spirit of a woman who died long long time ago what it does is that when a boy is born into the family, it will come and it will get married to that boy. As that boy will be growing up into a man and if he tries to get married, that spirit out of jealousy would come and it will close up the womb of that woman that will be married to that man in our family. And if it sees that it can't close up the womb of any woman that tries to get married into our family, it will just weaken the seed of the man that she'll be trying to get married to. But for me, it brings me a lot of wealth. My uncle already had his own children, but he left all of his estates into my name. When we buried him, he came into my dreams and he told me that I had to set a trap on top of his grave so that I can trap this tokoloshi. Dear listeners, right there was part one of the WhatsApp call conversation that I had with this certain brother of ours as he was giving me his confession. I'll be back with the second part. 
please let us talk about this issue in the comment section.